Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Sunday afternoon football review for round 17 of the NRL, where we saw the Crown of Sutherland Sharks defeat the New Zealand Warriors 20 points to 12 down there in the Strata Jubilee Oval this afternoon. And what was a fairly decent game of footy, wouldn't say it was a great game or anything, you know, amazing, but the Sharks, they get the job done. That They didn't score a point in the second half. They did enough to get the job done and, you know, I thought the Sharks were very professional today. I thought the Warriors were pretty good for a while in that game. You know, the first half an hour, the Warriors were good. And they sort of didn't really fire a shot at the Sharks, you know, the rest of the game. They, they got one try back in the game in that second half, but they just couldn't get back into the game. They really struggled for points today, the Warriors. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like this video. Comment your thoughts on this afternoon's game in the comment section below. And, you know, what well, under the Sharks from getting a win over the Warriors. And... You know, it all started off there. Um, it all started really well for the Warriors. First try of the game in the 16th minute. Reese Walsh scores the first try for the Warriors. They so wouldn't a kick. Uh, Ellie Katoa gets the ball, taps it back. Rocco Berry gets the flick over to Wateni Zalesniak. He grubber kicks it back on the inside towards the post. Will Kennedy misses the ball, and Reese Walsh ends up scoring the first try of the game. And Conversion successful by Reese Walsh. Warriors 6 0 after 16 minutes. Good start for New Zealand. And then in the 22nd minute, Braden Trinder with a very nice ball to Connor Tracy. Connor Tracy scores for the Sharks. Braden Trindle converts the goal at 6 all after 22 minutes. And then in the 33rd minute, once again, Braden Trindle firmly involved in the contest. In the 33rd minute, he sort of just goes at the line and puts on a show and go up against Nick Arima. He goes through and scores a try for the Sharks. A great try from Braden Trindle. Good play from him. Uh, he converts his own try. The um, Sharks go out to a 12-6 lead. And then, just when you think it couldn't couldn't get any worse for the Warriors, Reese Walsh kicks off out in the fall over the sideline there. Not good from Reese Walsh at all. And then, one of the funniest things that I've seen all year. I couldn't believe it. This was absolutely magnificent. 36 minutes of the game. Brayden Hamden Ueli scores. And then he gets up, punches one of the Sharks players in the face, does a WWE celebration, does the rocks, the people's elbow thing, bang, onto his uh, own teammate, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. So uh, shout out to Brayden Hamden Ueli. That thought that was absolutely outstanding from him. And Brayden Trindle converts the goal. Sharks go out to an 18 6 lead. And then uh, the Warriors were offside there with about a minute to half time. And the Sharks take a penalty goal through Braden Trindle. Half time, Sharks 20, Warriors 6. And I thought the Warriors needed to be in first to score in that second half, and they did. A very nice try from Roger Tavasa Shek. It was a nice pass. Um, and then Bunty Afal with, with the decoy run, and uh, Tavasa Shek scores for the Warriors under the post. Conversion is successful by Reese Walsh. Sharks still lead the game, though. 20 points to 12. And, you know, I thought Sean Johnson. He really took control of the game. His kicking and goals were very, very good. You know, his game management, repeat sets, being patient, just wasting time on the clock and just that game management from Sean Johnson today. I thought it was outstanding from him. And his kicking game was great all day. So the, the Warriors will be looking forward to what they're getting next year in Sean Johnson. But they wouldn't have been happy today with the Warriors going down. So Sean Johnson's kicking game was outstanding. And then in the 69th minute of the game, the Warriors had to take a risk. They had to throw the razzle-dazzle around, and they did. A kick on the inside from the Warriors. Jack Mercy scores. Unfortunately, it's no try because he was offside by about a metre or two. Unlucky there from Jack Mercy. With about five minutes to go, Reese Walsh throws a cutout ball for Dallin Latini Zalesniak on tackle two, I think it was. Goes over the sideline, and it, it just wasn't the Warriors' day at the office. It was a really, really disappointing performance from New Zealand. I was hoping that hoping that, that they would come out and go close today. Yes, the Sharks did win by eight points, but the Warriors didn't really threaten the Sharks much in this game to show me that, that they could win the game. The Sharks were mine. They were too professional. They showed their experience, and their game management from Sean Johnson was outstanding. And, you know, Sean Johnson today, he was up against uh, Cody Nikarima, and... Sean Johnson's always going to win that battle because he's a better player and better game manager. But, um, you know, a good win for the Sharks. They're back in that top eight. 
They now go back up to... They stay in eighth spot on in the competition. So that's good for the Sharks, you know. Still sitting in that top eight. As for the Warriors, they are still sitting in 13th spot on the ladder. So big game for the Warriors next week when they will be taking on the Panthers, which is a very, very big game for the Warriors. The Sharks next week, they will be taking on the Raiders. And what should be a great game, 8th versus 9th on the ladder. That should be an absolute cracker. Um, talk, we'll talk about some of the great players from today's game. So we'll start with the Sharks. Um... You know, I thought I thought Connor Tracy had a really good game in the centers today. I thought Sione Katawa was good. Ramian was a little bit quiet, but he did an he did an okay job. I thought Braden Trindle and Sean Johnson were outstanding together in the house. A, a very good combination there from those two. I thought Tolman and Woods were solid, nothing nothing amazing, but they did the job. I thought uh Talakai was outstanding. I thought Toby Rudolph had a good game. Wilton was decent. I thought Braden Hamlin Uwelly had a terrific game. Jack Williams off the bench was quite good as well. Uh, for the Warriors, uh, I, I thought Reese Walsh was okay. Nothing, you know, unbelievable, but I thought he had an okay game. Tuvasa Shek was very good. Um, Marcelo Montoya had a solid game, in my opinion. Um, Sean O'Sullivan tried hard, I thought. Nick Raymond was really disappointing. I thought he was really quiet. I thought Fanil Blake had a good game. Matt Lawton was a little bit. Not at his best, but I, I guess, you know, he's still gelling with the team. So, Matt Lodge was okay. Nothing outstanding. Um, I thought Eli Katal was terrific for the Warriors as well. I thought uh, Tavago was decent. I also thought Bunty of Farrell and Lisa and Armel did a pretty good job. Murdoch Masilla off the bench. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Murdoch Masilla off the bench is never going to work. You've got to start him. Bailey Sirenen didn't really show me much today out there. For the Warriors, but look, you know, a decent game of football. You know, you have a look at some of the some of the completion rates here from the Sharks. 38 from 46. New Zealand, 30 from 38. So pretty much the same completion rate, but the Sharks had a bit more possession now at 53%. New Zealand at 47. Um, you know, the Sharks had more missed tackles than the Warriors today. 26 missed tackles. The Warriors had 19 missed tackles as well, which was a little bit bit of a a little bit disappointing there. Uh, the Sharks had a 11-5 penalty count. The Warriors' dis discipline today in the middle was quite disappointing. So that was a little bit frustrating there. Uh, the player that ran the most metres in today's game, I'm just having a look as we speak. The player that had the most metres today, it looks like it was a Sharks player, according to the NRL app. Uh, most metres today, I believe it was... No, Daniel Montanis Lesniak, I believe, so... He had, the, he had the most run meters. But look, you know, overall, I thought it was a decent game of footy. Nothing, you know, amazing. You know, the Sharks get the job done today over the Warriors. So, you know, well done to the Sharks on get, getting the job done over the Warriors there. 20 points to 12 at the Strider Jubilee uh, Stadium today down there at Cogger. My top three players on ground for this afternoon's game. I'm going to go with, let's go, number three. I'm going to go with um, Sia Talakai, number three. Number two, I'm going to go with Braden Trindle. I thought he played really well at 5-8 today. Number one, my man in the match. I'm, I'm going to go with Sean Johnson. I thought, I thought his kicking game, his game management was very good today. And I believe Sean Johnson had a fantastic game against the Warriors today. The team that he's going back to next year. But guys, if you enjoyed the Sunday Football Review, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys again tonight for my State of Origin preview for Game 3 of the state of the, of the, the 2021 State of Origin series, which is now being played at Seabar Super Stadium. So guys, thanks for watching, stay safe, and until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.